Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. So nice to see all of you. Well, I can't see you, but you can see me. So hello, hello, everybody. Let me just walk you through inside your 30-day dental assisting board exam prep, okay? So depending on when you're watching this, the content may have changed a little bit because I do update this often. Um, but let me just kind of walk you guys through everything. So you should have access to all of the courses, all of the mock exams right away. Um, when I first did this course, you would have access to it every week. A new course came out every week, but I have decided to change that so you have access to it right away because this is a 30-day prep course. So you might not have 30 days to prep for it. You might have a week, you might have two weeks. So it doesn't make sense to release everything a week later if you want to get things going now. So what I suggest you do is read through everything first. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be everything first, but read through at least the welcome area first. So let me just click on that for you. Actually, I can't really see it because I'm not logged in, but I'm just kind of in my part of the course. But definitely read through everything first so you kind of have an idea of where to get started. Now, week one, as an example, I, you don't have to go through all of these courses right away. It might take you a day, it might take you two days. It could even take you two weeks to go through week one. That's up to you, but I like to give you guys an idea of if you want to take the full 30 days to go through everything, what you should be doing in week one and then week two. So if it takes you three weeks to go through week one and you're studying every day, well that's too long. You know, you, you're probably taking too long. But if you're working full time and perhaps you're able to study once a week, that's it, then it will take you longer to go through week one. So does that make sense? So I don't want you guys to worry about having to rush through everything or I don't want you to have to worry about, oh, well, maybe I'm not studying well enough. Maybe I'm going too slow. This is just basically a guideline. So if you're able to study every day for six hours maximum every day, this is sort of a guideline of what to go through. Now, I left the quiz at the top of each of the different topics because some students like to take the quiz first. I actually suggest reading through everything first and then taking the quiz after that. But if you're at the point where you feel like you have studied everything and you just want to know if you're on the right track, then take the quiz first. So that's why I still left it at the top to take the quiz first. The nice thing about these quizzes is they are fully trackable. So you can track to see how you did on them and I can see how everybody else is doing too. So if you're getting a 70% average, that's pretty good. If you're a lot lower than 70, then you probably need extra help. Let me know what you need help with so that I can help you. So week one, all right here. Um, week two, you know, so notice though how some topics have a lot more in them. And I do that on purpose. Some topics, especially for the dental assisting prep, you don't have to know that much. You know, not as much as some of the other topics, but then you'll see some topics where there's a lot of different PowerPoints in them. So I do all of this on purpose. Um, and I'll mention again, per topic, I don't want you guys to, to think that you have to study a topic a day or a PowerPoint a day. Some of these PowerPoints are a lot larger and some of them are a lot tinier. So do not feel like, let's say you open up um, processing errors. Don't feel like you have to go through all of that in one day and, and if you don't, that you're not studying properly. Everybody's timelines will be different, but this is just kind of a ballpark for what you need to get through and all of these course topics and all of the PowerPoints, all of the quizzes. If you go through everything in 30 days, you will pass the board exam. This is a great place to get started. Whether you have 30 days, two months, um, two weeks, this is a good 
idea of where you stand in 30 days. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much for um, signing up. This is an amazing course. So far, those who have taken this course and taken the board exam have passed from those who have told me. Um, I do try to reach out to every st um, student to see if they have passed. Sometimes they email me back, sometimes they don't, but I kind of feel like if they didn't pass, they would let me know right? So, so far people are doing excellent. This is an amazing course. Take your time, learn as much of it as you can. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. And let me know if you have any questions at all.